guys, welcome back to another recipe video of So Shape. So today I have two exciting things that are happening. Firstly, I have my friend Laura here. We've been like friends forever since grade one. And then secondly, I've teamed up with Varsity Vibe. So if you don't know who Varsity Vibe is, it's an app for students. Um, I'll also link them down below. So on this app, you can like get a lot of discounts from a lot of different like restaurants or clothing shops or like any type of shop there are so so many shops and restaurants on the app but you can get like 30% discount or 10% discount it's a really really nice app um, and yeah it's for students only and I've partnered up with the app Bottles on Varsity Vibe so Bottles in, is an app that you can order pick and pay food on so i'll show you how i did it this morning so as you can see i just went into my bottles app and scrolled through and looked through food that i wanted to buy for my recipe video so i've ordered my food at 7 30 and they received the order and prepared my food at 8 20 and the driver has arrived shortly after it and i received my food at 10 28. So you receive it in the same day which is super great because some um, delivery apps like take two days or even longer to bring your food so I think it's super convenient and especially for me that doesn't like to go to the shops alone like I hate it so it was great that I could just sit in my bed and order my food and they came to deliver it for me. So yeah I also link the bottles app down below that you can go and check them out. So today we are, um, we have a theme, we have like mm -hmm. a 50s diner theme and um, I wanted to make something fun. So we are making vegan gourmet food. Firstly, we are making a vegan burger. Um, we're going to make the patty and then I just ordered some brown buns from Pick and Pay and we're going to make a cauliflower um, patty and then we're also going to make a chocolate vegan milkshake mm. and i'm really excited for that because chocolate milkshake is my favorite type of milkshake and i can't remember when i last had a milkshake i have a lot of smoothies but we're going to make it a bit sweeter so it's not going to be so healthy um the burger is going to be like going on the healthy side and um, we're going to use mayo which is not like that healthy and we're going to have burger buns which is also not that healthy but i just wanted to show you that vegan can also be uh, great food good food it doesn't always have to be lettuce and beans and stuff like that so yeah this is what we're making for today's video and if you haven't yet subscribed to, m to my channel make sure to click that button and then with talking up any further let's get started Firstly, we are going to chop the cauliflower into smaller pieces quinoa and cook it. I'm going to use two cups. Maybe we like one and a half cup. Next up we're making the cheese sauce with half a block of tofu. Then we're going to add a bit of salt. Then just a little bit of soy milk. Mm. 
Now we're going to mash half of the butter beans. Now we're going to add in the cauliflower into the blender. Then adding the unsmashed butter beans. In the chopped onion, some garlic powder. And some salt. Then we're just going to blend this. So we have transferred the mixture um, from the blender into a big bowl. Now I'm going to add the smashed beans. Then adding some of the quinoa. Then I'm just going to chop in some spring onions. Then some basil. Then I will be adding some extra pepper. Some more salt. Rosemary. And now I've added the rest of the quinoa. I'm going to mix this. Now we are getting to roll the patties up into bowls and make them into patties. Then just heat them in the pan. So I bought this mayonnaise at the Compe with the app and I've never tried the tangy one before, I've tried the creamy one. So yeah, first time to try this vegan mayonnaise on our burgers. Then putting on our patties that I just make warm in the pan. Now for the milkshake, we are going to start off by making a caramel sauce for the top and I'm using some medjool dates. I'm going to put in a little bit of milk just to let the blender go. And then we're going to add some crunchy peanut butter. So I've scooped a bit of the um, date and peanut butter mixture out but there is still a lot of it in here. I'm going to leave it in here to make it as a sweetener uh, for the milkshake. For 
the base of the milkshake, we are going to use frozen banana. Then I'll be using some coconut yogurt to make it a bit more creamy. Then adding about two teaspoons of cacao powder. Then just a little bit of plant milk. Then we are going to blend this. Okay, so we're adding two teaspoons of coconut oil to let it melt. So the coconut oil has melted and now we're going to add some cacao powder. So I've added a little bit of salt and I'm going to add a little bit of vanilla essence as well. Now we're going to make some cream out of coconut milk. Adding some vanilla essence. And there is our cream. Quick and easy. I'm going to attempt to use this and coat the gloss with it. I've never done it before. So yeah, let's try it out. Okay, first gloss. Yeah, so going a bit down, it's not really hard, but it's okay. We'll make it work. And here is our chocolate milkshake. It tastes more like a smoothie, but for me, it's quite the same. Now we're going to put our um, coconut cream on top. Then I'm just going to crush some Oreos in a bowl. Then I'm going to use this caramel baked sauce bean made and stick it onto the glass. Okay, so after super long um, time, it is finally done. And now we're going to taste this, our burgers for you, and then the milkshakes. Okay, so this is a pretty gourmet big burger. I don't know how I'm going to take a bite even, but I'm going to try and try for you. Ooh, okay. Okay. Mmm, it's better. Mmm, it's really no, it's nice. Mm. I would say the burgers turned out really well. I would have enjoyed it for so warm, but we have to make milkshakes and that took long, so but it's really nice. Um all that I can say about the cauliflower patty is that it like it like crumbles, it doesn't stick together quite nice. 
um, but it tastes nice and I think that's all that counts so mm. it tastes really good and I think the sauce turned out good so yeah the burgers turned out well let's try the milkshakes for you guys Tastes like yogurt, like a smoothie. Yeah, mm. it tastes it tastes like a smoothie. It's nice, like very good. Yeah, it's a nice smoothie. Like if you wanted a more mold shake, you can maybe like buy coconut ice cream or vegan ice cream. But this is definitely a healthier option without Oreo cookies. Um, but yeah, I like it. Like I still like it. Mm. Good for you. So yeah, I would give this like a real thumbs up. Definitely you should try it out. And yeah, it was very, very fun making it. And thank you so much for um, bottles, for giving us all the ingredients to make this yummy food. Um, we really appreciate it. And remember to go and check out their app and check out the link as well as Varsity Vibe. And yeah, if you guys like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And then we'll see you guys next time. Bye.